Hello, I'm Nadine and a very warm welcome. So today we're making peanut brittle. It's super easy, super yummy and this always makes me nostalgic because I had so much of it when I was a little girl. And I will also show you a very fun way to present it. So keep on watching. Okay, we're going to start on the caramel now. With caramel, you have to be very careful because when it's heating up, it's like watching paint dry, it takes forever, and then all of a sudden, it's ready and it's super, super hot. So it helps if you have everything measured from before and a space on your counter to keep everything. Okay, so I have uh, one and a half cups of sugar and half a cup of water in here and I'm putting a quarter cup of light corn syrup and we're just going to heat this up in a heavy bottomed pan what the corn syrup does is it makes it a little softer so that you don't crack a tooth on your brittle <laughs> Uh, but I still like it crunchy so I don't like to put too much and then what we'll also do is uh, I'm just going to brush down the sides of the pan uh, so that your sugar doesn't crystallize with just some water and we'll do this a couple of times and that's it don't touch it just let it heat up also what I did was uh, I took a big baking tray and I have a silipat mat on it and I put it in the oven so that it heats up a bit at 350. Uh, that gives you a little bit more time to spread your brittle on the tray when it's ready. Um, if you don't have a silipat mat you can just butter your tray really well. And then at this stage, I'm just going to put a sugar thermometer or candy thermometer, whatever you want to call it. And um, we have to heat this um, mixture till almost a hard crack stage, which is a little over 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So we keep an eye on it. We remove it off the heat at 300 because it keeps cooking uh, even when you take it off. Uh, so that will give you a little more time to spread it and add everything and not burn everything. <laughs> okay, so the color is starting to change. It's like a light golden brown. Um, so soon this will be ready. We are almost at 300. So I'm keeping a close eye on this. Okay, it is ready now. I'm going to move the sugar thermometer and carefully we're going to add some baking soda vanilla extract be careful it bubbles a little bit and then we're going to add the peanuts Now we're just going to pour this on our tray. It starts setting up so you don't have too much time. But the heated tray helps. So that's it. So at room temperature, we're just going to let this uh, harden and then we can break it apart. So the peanut brittle was just hanging out at room temperature for 20 minutes and it's done. Uh, so basically at this point, um, you can just crack it. It comes out like a big slab, which is so cool. <laughs> I just bite the whole thing out. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and I love a lot of peanuts in it. And then we just uh, crack it to whatever size pieces you want. Just like that. That's what it looks like.
And this is perfect, not too thick, not too thin. And it's done. So if you want to store this, um, store it in an airtight container uh, in single layers and put wax paper, parchment paper in between. And these make great gifts. You can pack them up in clear bags uh, with ribbon and give it to your friends and family. But stay with me because I'm going to show you a very fun way to present this. You can set up a whole candy station. This would be perfect for movie night or if you're having people over, kids would love it. So all I did was I have some clear uh, vases here. I put some ribbon on it and uh, this I filled with some peanut M&Ms and lollipops and this with uh, popcorn. And all you do is you just uh, wedge the pieces of the peanut brittle in it and it stays just like that what is your favorite candy let me know in the comments <laughs> i love i think candy i love skittles uh, but um, popcorn is like my favorite like it's taking everything in me not to eat this whole bowl when I go to the movies, I feel like it's uh, more for the popcorn and less for the movie. <laughs> and then we will do it for the m and too. And if you have some color theme or something, you can swap out the candies. It's just a very festive idea. So it's a lovely uh, brown color and lots of peanuts, just the way I like it. So I'm going to taste it now. Mm. It's so crunchy and so yummy. <laughs> Look how pretty! You have this fun candy display here and the yummy peanut brittle. All the details and the recipe will be on my website nadinali.com and I'm going to actually use this peanut brittle and make a yummy dessert in my next video. So please make sure that you're subscribed, hit the bell, like the video. And if you make this, please tag me on Instagram. I love seeing those pics. I hope you share this with your loved ones. Until next time, nadinelli.com.